So I'm with Jonathan Baylor. Jonathan, thank you so much for coming on. It's a pleasure, Tina. Uh, thank you. From the Word team, and everybody in the planet uses Word. Everyone uses Word. Everybody uses Word. They so do. You are here to give us some tips and tricks on some cool things about Word, right? I am. I am the new version of Word, Word 2007. Love that. You can make things look pretty for us. Definitely. All definitely. right. Well, let's get started. So yeah, the first thing I wanted to show here real quick is, is the ability to create what we like to call 21st century documents in Word. So the ability for anyone to quickly and easily create a great looking document. So. You worry about, you've got your content in your, you know, your file, you spent a few hours, you know, writing up a brief little report here, but now you want to make it look good. Yes. So we want to make that, for the bosses, we want to make that as quick and easy as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply what we call quick styles. Okay. And what that is, is a way to quickly apply styles. <laughs> it's a pretty appropriate name. And you can see one thing that's really great here is before I apply the styles, I can just mouse over them and see what they're going to look like in my document before I actually apply them. Oh, wow. So it's actually changing it. Yeah, as you can see, oh, I'm not okay. actually committing that I style. I didn't even notice that. So, yeah, it's pretty handy. So I'll go in, drop the title style. Mm, let's say maybe heading two. No, I like heading one. So we'll go ahead and pick heading one. And how about, let's just do heading two on this one. So no more selecting it, going up to font, going to... Exactly. You don't have to do that whole iterative process yeah. over trial and error, trial and error. But here's an even cooler part. Okay. We have what's called style sets. So I can go in here. I can change my entire style set. So in one click, I can really compellingly change the entire look of the entire document. You can see that. It's That's a cool. significant difference. So yeah, I just moused over there. You can see we oh. scroll out in the document here. It's already looking. Quite a bit better, right? No, it does. It looks better. It's those are going with the little, uh, the little pop-up art box and getting the line and trying to bring the line over. Exactly, exactly. I'm so, nice. so let's do some headers and footers. Let's go for it. All right. I'm so this is actually a technology we call document building blocks, which allows us to drop in an entire sort of pre-made piece of content in one click. So there's a pretty nice looking header just like yep. that, right? Beautiful. So let's go ahead and do the footer now. Go ahead. Let's just drop in. Um, let's see, we got a bunch of nice selections here, but I think I want to do this austere one. And you can see, actually, in about oh. just a few clicks, we scroll out here. Guys, I'm, so, I mean, really, like in a minute and a half, you went from just t plain text. Just plain text. To looking like you worked on it for two hours to make it look pretty. And, and that was a minute and a half, but we're not done. You're kind of cheating, too. We're, I, I it's am not old cheating. school at all. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, we could actually go in, and if we want here, let's, let's actually change the color scheme. Like, this is kind of a red. Mm -hmm. I actually want a little bit more of a blue, so what we can do is change the theme of the document. What that allowed me to do is change the, the color, the fonts, everything. So now we have more of a blue look and feel, which yep. is kind of nice. Okay. And then actually, let's go ahead and just drop a cover page in. So we just go ahead and click, and we've got our cover page. Wow, that's a huge difference. Isn't that pretty cool? That's a huge difference. Where was this, like, my senior year? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make reports, you know? Okay. No, definitely. So it's, and it's great you mentioned your senior year because some other great things in Work 2007 are the academic arena. We've actually made some specific investments to help people in academia have an easier life. So let me give you a quick demonstration of what I mean here. Because so, downloading their final reports from the Internet is not easy enough. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. So let's scroll out here. So I just have a nice little demonstration report here and and one thing made an investment in is is citing things you know like creating bibliographies and inserting citations definitely something that can kind of be a pain so let's zoom in on the document here real quick and what we actually create or give you the ability to do in Word 2007 is to go in here and actually the uh, click on the document here we'll go to our references tab and you can actually insert and create citations right in Word so you notice here we click on the insert citations button you can add a source you go in, you add a source, and what that allows you to do is just quickly and easily now in your document, when I click on Insert Citations, here's four sources I added to my document. Wow. So I can just go ahead, insert a citation, go down here, let's insert, let's insert, let's say just four citations. It let's really insert a citation does do it for here, you. It's amazing. and another citation here, and let's just do one more, make it a little bit realistic, five citations. Okay, so we've got them in there, we've got them in there in APA format, which is kind of nice. But now we actually want to insert our bibliography. Okay. Kind of be a pain. Bibliography, where do you put your period? It's, you know, it's a pain. Format it, what's italicized? All that stuff. But I'm stressing just thinking about just it. Just stressing. But okay. just like we showed you with the document building box, yep. you can insert an entire piece of content with just one click. We can actually do that with our bibliography. So I just go ahead and click that. There's our entire That's bibliography right That's there. Unbelievable. Now, what's really cool, right, is I don't know if you ever had a situation I definitely did in college where I put everything in, you know, APA format or mm -hmm. MLA or Chicago, and it's the wrong one. Yeah. I have to go in and change everything. So you see this little drop down here? I can pick APA, Chicago, MLA. Let's change it to MLA. You'll notice all of my citations changed and the bibliography updated so to match. everything in the document changes to that. Everything in the document changes to that. 
I feel like we got cheated. <laughs> no, I, I really feel like this is great, but people, like, kids now have no idea how easy they have it. No, it's, it's definitely true. So, and even another cool thing that we did uh, for academia is equations. I know sometimes you have to type your equations actually in a word, and that can be, that can be quite difficult. Yes. But we've made a lot of investments there as well. So we can go in here into uh, actually just the insert tab here. I'm going to go ahead and insert an equation now. Watch, this is pretty handy. I can go in here and just type as I typically would in Word. Let's just do maybe A plus B divided by eh, C plus D equals, as you can see, we automatically format that as you'd want it to, uh, D to the power of, where is my caret key? There it is. Power of 2. Go ahead and hit Enter. And there's our equation all built up as you That's would kind great. of expect it to. And again, of course, continuing with the theme of document building blocks, you can go in. You can insert, you know, the binomial theorem just right, just the like that. One of click, a sum. just drop it in there. Yeah, I used to get me every time. Every yeah. time expansion every of a sum. Time. You can't draw it; it's impossible. <laughs> no, it's definitely true. So that's pretty quick and easy, that's which awesome. is nice. Yeah. Now, when you say the academia, is it a separate part of Word, or just how do you actually get those particular uh, tools to pop up? Oh, sure. So uh, as you yeah. notice, so we we definitely uh, Microsoft Word is part of four applications in Office 2007 that has what they're calling the new. Office Fluent user interface, which includes this ribbon right here and a bunch of nice other features uh, such as floating toolbars and so on and so forth. So this is all just within the new user interface. So when we inserted those headers and footers, they're just right here on the Insert tab. If you want to insert an equation, it's in the Insert tab. Insert a cover page, it's there as well. So these are all right there in Word. That's awesome. Now, I've always been a fan of Word Art. How's Word Art looking in, the, in 2007? So Word Art, yeah, you can just definitely insert Word Art. Word Art is just actually right here in your uh, Insert tab. You can actually go and Word Art is right there. there so go. while your Word okay. Art is still right there, you can definitely drop all that in and all that goodness. Um, but another great thing we've added is a, a technology called themes, like I mentioned before. And what themes do is actually create a cohesive look and feel for your document, and actually add a little bit of smarts to your document as well. So let me show you what I mean here. I'll close down these windows. This is the old document we had up yep. for the... That we took us a minute to create. Exactly, exactly. So now let's say... This is a nice looking report, but I have some additional data I want to throw in here. Maybe like I had a PowerPoint slide that had a nice graphic in it. I want to put it in this and maybe even a chart from Excel. Now in the past, what would have to happen is you'd have certain formatting in Excel, certain formatting in PowerPoint. You'd bring it into Word and now you have to make it try to fit in with your Word document. Yeah, it's I never would pain. try to bring them in because it was always such a pain. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So let's do first, let's just grab this, this nice diagram here from PowerPoint. So we'll just go ahead, copy this. We'll go back to Word. You can see it's nice and orange blue. It really wouldn't fit in well with our Word document, but because we have a theme in our Word document, I can just go in and paste that in, and it takes on the theme and actually just fits right in. It looks like it just, you know, it belongs That's in the great. document. That's great. And you said the same thing with Excel? Definitely with Excel. So we can just open up. We have a chart here. Again, we can just copy this. You can see it's sort of a red and blue. It doesn't look like it would be totally out of place in the Word document, but I think we could definitely do better. So let's go ahead and drop it in here. And you can see it takes on that nice blue shading, the great theme so of the entire anything document. anything that you import from those will automatically become the theme, whatever that theme is. That you exactly. And we can, again, we can change the theme and all of those, everything in the That's document great. updates itself, gives it really that kind of a design look and feel, but I'm not a designer. You know, <laughs> you know most of our users aren't designers. Like a designer. so. <laughs> well, thanks. But, uh, that's great, yeah. And another thing that's great is, you know, you get your document looking just the way you want it, and uh, we have a free web download, which actually allows you to save as PDF and XPS directly from Word. So you can actually wow. go in here, right, our Office button, you can click Save As, and you can save as PDF or XPS right from Word, and, you know, definitely just publish that up to web in a fixed format. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. <laughs> speechless. I'm speechless. That's what it means. So we have about an, another minute left. Is there anything else you wanted to say? Sure. So actually, one of the coolest things I like is I love spell checking in Word. I'm not a great speller. <laughs> so traditionally, spell checking works like this. We say, like, you know, win. Oh, we're on all caps here. We got win or lose. And let's misspell lose. It was a great game. All right. So we've got a spelling error. Nothing too crazy there. But... We could also, you know, Word is smart, it can also do grammar errors. So if we say win or lose, we actually oh, have, it's not a grammar error, it's actually the wrong word, win or loose. But Word will actually catch that. It's called contextual spelling. So that's another feature we added this time around, which is pretty handy. So if you accidentally type the instead of they, we'll actually catch it. Even though it's not a spelling error, it's a contextual spelling error. The other thing that's great is you could take your documents, when you create them, you make them look all nice and great in Word, and it kind of makes you a better writer, and then you can publish them as a blog. 
So we'll actually put you here into a blog mode. You could actually go ahead and send this up to your favorite blog provider. Wow. Just like that. I'm speechless. Speechless. Jonathan, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. It's been We're a pleasure. Wow.